Hello, today we're going to be doing a video on a trick using factorial called the just do the math trick. This trick will really force your opponent to think hard. It will challenge them and give you a big advantage in the game. Let's begin with our first example. Our first example is 31 times 24. If you watch my other video on consecutive numbers, the other trick, you can know that we sometimes factor these numbers out to get a, a solution. But in this case, 31 is a prime number, so we can't do that. So when in doubt, multiply up the numbers and see what you get. So let's multiply 31 and 24 here. And our answer here is 744. So this trick here requires you to know your factorials very well. You have to know on the spot that 744 is strikingly close to 720. And 720 is equal to 6 factorial. So as factorial has been called, you can use it here to make a solution. So 744 minus 720, let's just see what we're left with. If you want to include 6 factorial in our solution. 24. Well, what's 24? That's just 4 factorial. So when you add 24 and 720, you get 744, and that's actually the value of our goal. So a solution here would be 6 factorial plus 4 factorial equals to 31 times 24. And that would be our solution. Notice how this solution is so powerful because it's only 3 cubes and it doesn't use multiplication. You want to put the multiplications into forbidden to, for, to prevent anybody else from thinking of additional solutions that might get the goal. You're only using addition. That's all you're using. People are not going to think that you can use addition to reach a number that high, but you're using factorial, and that's the key here. Try this DIY example. Do it yourself. The goal is 23 times 31. The variation is factorial. All multiplication signs are forbidden. And ideally, you should come up with a three cube solution. Pause the video if needed. So, the solution for this goal? Well, as the name of the video says, just do the math. So we're gonna start off by multiplying 23 and 31. And note how two, one, two, and three are really common numbers. They're the most common numbers in the game. So this, this goal is actually really easy to set up. So 3, 2, 9, 6, 713. So that using your knowledge of factorial, you know that 6 factorial is 720. Well, 713 is a value. We're pretty close, but if we were to subtract another 7, we'd get to 713. All right, so then let's say that the solution is six factorial minus seven. That works out, right? 720 minus seven is 713, and that's the value of our goal. So this is the solution to our goal. Note how it's three cubes and pretty easy to get. Other people who don't know how to do this trick, they might be doing like all sorts of shenanigans, trying to get numbers that multiply, and, and then you'd put all the multiplications in forbidden. That's how you get them, really. In conclusion, this trick helps you think critically to develop goals that will make your opponents have a hard, challenging time, but will present an easy solution to you. Subscribe and turn notifications on to be the first to receive new content from the channel. If you have any questions, content related, or anything generally, please ask them in the comments below. And we are accepting video requests at the time. If you have a video request, we have an email address it's video request, it's plural, request is plural, A-G-T-T-T -T -T at gmail.com. It's down there. I'll put it in the comments as well for you to, if you need it. All right, thank you.